left undone to do to reveal his will and his favor to us. So we just have to believe him. Is that right? I wish to read a portion of scripture tonight in 23rd chapter of Exodus, beginning with the 21st. It's always been a very favorite spot for me. It said, Behold, I sent an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Beware of him, obey his voice, provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgressions, for my name is in him. But if thou wilt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then will I be an enemy to thy enemies and an adversary to thy adversaries, for my angel shall go before thee. Now, for a thought for a few moments, I wish to take that last part, or the first part of that phrase of the last verse. My angel shall go before thee. God in all ages has had someone to deal with here on earth. Ever since he's had an earth, he started, had never was a time but what he was, he had someone that he could put his hands on to send them. During this time that we're speaking of here, just read on, was when he has sent Moses to deliver the children of Israel. Now, it was not Moses that was sent. Moses was just the instrument. Now, in my heart, I have believed that God has always been the same. All through the ages, in every age, He's been just as he was at the beginning. He was manifested in the fatherhood. He was manifested in the sonship. He's manifested now in the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. We're living not in the Christian dispensation, but in the Holy Spirit dispensation. It's the, the acts of the Holy Spirit in the church. The church reaction to what the Holy Spirit is in them. Marvelous day we're living in. Greatest time of all ages we're now living, just at the closing of the scene of this world's activities and fixing to enter into that great age that we've all looked for so long. The Hebrew prophets have spoke of through the days. And God always has had someone he could put his hands on. Now, Moses was born a proper child and God ordained that he should bring the Israel out under his leadership and before he went down into Egypt after he was called when he was on the desert that morning herding Jethro's sheep his father-in-law he saw a bush a burning now I believe that was the first appearance of the angel of the Lord he was in this burning bush And then when he commissioned Moses and told him what he was to do, he went before him down into Egypt. And when he came out, he was in a form of a fire again, a pillar of fire. And this pillar of fire led the children of Israel, which was the same uh, angel that was in the burning bush. That was the same pillar of fire that was in that burning bush. And that pillar of fire, or the angel, was the angel of the covenant. I believe all ministers would agree with that, that that was the angel of the covenant. If it was the angel of the covenant, then it was the Lord Jesus. It was God, the Holy Spirit. For Moses uh, chose to, to suffer the reproach of Christ and counted greater riches than the treasures of Egypt, you see, of Christ. That was Christ, the Logos, the angel of the covenant that led the children of Israel out of Egypt to the promised land, which was just a foreshadow, as he did in the natural then, he does in the spiritual today. Now, he promised to supply all their needs. When they needed water, they got it from the rock. When they needed food, God rained it down out of heaven, blowed it into the winds. And when the waters were bitter, they made it sweet. And he provided everything they had need of. When sickness came into the camp, he had an atonement made. He promised to be the God in the time.